All right, guys, here we go. Episode 30. This week, we play against number one, Texas. My last game of the year. Uh, I don't think I'll play for the conference championship. It depends on how the Tennessee-Kentucky game turns out. But for this game, uh, I got Stucky Matthews Hurd. They're my top players. Of course, they've been my top players. They got wide receiver Jefferson, free safety, and a center. All of them are better than my my best players. <laughs> Going back to the team stats, I'm not bad. They're not bad. It's going to be a very good game, that's for sure. So my first series, I'm moving the ball pretty good. I stopped, got them to go three and out. Then I got the ball, and I'm moving the ball pretty good, throwing the ball well. Do a little read option, keep it with Hurd, and I'm going. Get the block downfield. Almost, almost got to the block, not quite there. Still got a 13-yard rush with Hurd. A little option keeper. My quarterback's not the fastest guy in the world, but he can he can run. He can run. So do a little uh, inside zone, I think, or like the one where the running back pulls. No, no, I just I was just regular like halfback smash or something. It's like he gets a good eight yard gain. Six rushes, 29 yards on this series alone. Running the ball pretty good, throwing the ball well. This is the play. It's the weird looking play. <laughs> so I run that, and he gets straight ripped. The Garcia picks it up and. Nobody's going to be even remotely close to this big old boy. So he scoops and scores to take the lead. My first, probably first fumble of the year. And it backfired tremendously. They absolutely took advantage of that. So we got the ball back. <laughs> Obviously, go with a little screen pass here. Trying to make something happen. And it actually works works to perfection. The guy falls on the ground, rolls. Oh, it lasts a little spin mover from Stucky. Gets steps out of bounds. 26 yard reception. I mean, he had 26 yards rushing a while ago. <laughs> he just beat that with one catch right there. Quarterback's four for four. I'm 0 for, 0 for on third down so far. I did go for it on fourth down and get it. So, right there, I fit it into A. I probably should have hit RB, should have hit Jones, but I hit tight end to Carrington. So, just short of the first down. So, fourth and three. I'm taking the easy points. Get the field goal. And I'm on the board finally. It took me to the second quarter to do it, but I got it. So force him to go. I forced him to go three and out a lot. I don't know how, but I did. So I don't like what I'm seeing. So I had to bull out of it, drop back, and hit Carrington again, and get another first down. About halfway through the second quarter, 14 yard gain. Carrington was pretty, pretty volatile this game. Pretty, well, pretty necessary this game. I had, I had to have him be big. So trying to make something happen again. Do a little play action pass. It was a setup play. I probably should have hit X. I don't know if you guys saw on the left side. X was completely open. I got fortunate. I threw it to Chris Jones there across the middle, and that guy didn't jump because that probably would have been picked. But we get on the board with a touchdown finally <laughs> to go up 10-7. So in the second quarter, it's third and six, trying to stop him here. And get come, come free and get the sack. They might have had the back out of the backfield, but I don't know. The guy on the far right. But that's another sack for, for Yates. It's fourth of 14 now. They're going for it. I think this is the second time they went for it on fourth down. But they're they're trying again. They're, they're threatening. They're trying to get the first down, get some points, and throws it deep into the end zone, and Rice actually picks it. My linebacker kept up with their tight end. They tried to hit that tight end all game, and uh, my linebackers already made one big play. So we get on the board, or we get a pick, and right before the end of the half, we just take an easy field goal to be up by six. I'd like to be up by seven, but I'll take whatever I can get. So going into halftime, we have a six-point lead, and we get the ball starting the second half. And we're, we're fighting. We are fighting for sure. My defense has been absolutely stellar so far. I mean, they've only got 72 yards total. We have 79 rushing yards. <laughs> and I got a lot of passing yards, too. We've got each one turnover. We've taken advantage of it. Granted, they got a touchdown. I got a field goal. But points are points, man. Stucky, 18 rushes, 70-something yards. Look at that. Total yards, 266 to 72. Huge difference. Huge difference. So drop back the pass. Try to throw that in there. And every time I throw it, this is what happens. A pick. And Jones trying to make it. Jones stops him short from the pick six. So here goes another turnover. <laughs> I try to force that in there too much, and they always jump the route. But my receiver or my corners never jump the route. So they get the ball a couple plays later, second and four. Huge rush by their running back. I think that's probably the biggest run he had. And they went no huddle the whole game. Since when does Texas do no huddle the entire game? They're not Oregon. Come on now. He drops back, finally hits his tight end, gets in for the touchdown. So they take the lead 14 to 13. About halfway through the second, this third, third quarter, and we need to make something happen here. So we get the ball back. This is right after the kickoff, very first play. Do a little zone read this time. Hand it off to Stucky, and nobody is even remotely close to this guy. He could go all the way. Stucky first play right after that. We get a huge run, 25-yard touchdown run from Stucky. Big plays happen by playmakers. This guy is legit. He's up for the Heisman. Hopefully, he wins it. We'll see. So I go for two here. I take a chance, take a risk. I want to be up by seven. I don't want to have that six-point lead. I want to value that seven. So 
Uh, do a little shotgun drop back. I could have hit two people there. <laughs> Stuck you the back back of backfield or Carrington, which I hit Carrington for the two point conversion to go up by seven. So I get the ball back. Two minutes left. Third and eight. Trying to make something happen here. Throw it to Jones. Thought I had him. That guy makes a great play. A very good play to go fourth and eight. So I'm trying to kick a field goal here. This is a very, very long field goal, but I'm not going to unrealistically go for it here. I want to make sure I get the points. Five mile an hour win. Kick it. Perfect. And gets it. Gets it. 45 plus yard field goal. Puts me up by 10. So they have to score, get the onside kick, and hopefully kick a field goal. So second and three. Minute and a half left. They drop back. Pass it. The sideline and Jackson picks it, picks it, and that's pretty. Oh, user pick! Look at that first forced 20 turnovers in the season. Give me those extra points. Jackson being huge for a young guy. I think he's a freshman, but we end up uh, getting another first down. They waste all their time out, so we come out and kneel it uh, a couple of times just to make sure we get the win. <laughs> Absolutely want to make sure we get the win. And we we come out of that with our last game of the season at home for the seniors was a big one against number one Texas. So hopefully, hopefully there's a big shakeup in the top top 15, top 25 for sure. I mean, hopefully <laughs> that would be nice. But we we come out with the victory uh, at home to end the season, and hopefully we can play for the conference championship. But we their their team did not do well. I mean, their quarterback was at 60 60 yards, two touchdowns, and a turnover. The rest of the team had 98 yards. They just did not do very good against my defense somehow. The Stucky play of the game, 27 carries, 170 yards, touchdown, four catches, 84 yards. Stucky just being legit, man. He's doing what he do. <laughs> just doing what he do, man. I like that guy. I'm I'm excited. He's only a junior, so hopefully he sticks around for next year. But games around the country as of right now, Arizona, Arizona State, Utah, Colorado, nothing really major for, for our end, for the top 25 teams at least. Um, game stats, look at that. Five yards difference rushing and passing, and they only had like 150, 58 yards. I mean, we tore it up this game. Players of the game, Stucky, Rice, big plays by playmakers. Yeah, buddy, we'll be right back whenever we get ready for the advance. All right, guys, just got done showing the highlights for my game against Texas. I'm surprised I won that game, to be honest with you. My defense compared to their offense, very, very different, that's for sure. But we got the win regardless as their first loss. Number one has been upset again back-to-back -back weeks. So let's see how everybody else in the dynasty did this week. Tulsa ends up winning in, no, I thought I said in overtime. Uh, ends up winning 56-21. Tennessee beats Kentucky 42-21. I'm pretty sure that locks up the conference championship. We'll find out um, after the advance for sure, but I'm pretty sure that locks it up. So Kentucky lost. Auburn ends up getting the win 35-3. UCLA had a bye week this week. East Carolina wins 35-6. Uh, Mississippi State loses to the Italians. So I'm pretty sure... That locks it up for for Ole Miss. I, I think that's how it was because Mississippi State beat Arkansas, Arkansas beat Ole Miss, and Ole Miss beat Mississippi State. So there's no advantage there. It's just whoever's got the best record. So I'm pretty sure it's Ole Miss. Texas Tech didn't play this week, so uh, I think I think he said he's going to be gone. So it's okay. Uh, no no hard feelings right now. But after after once we get because we're almost done, so once we get to the postseason, then we'll see. But as of right now, it's okay. But this was a game in real life, so let's see if it ends up the same way as it did um, today, which is Saturday. I think Oklahoma ends up winning it by eight, but we'll see how it goes in the dynasty. Penn State did not play his game this week. I'm just going to skip that past you, buddy. Sorry about that. UConn gets the win 59-21, and Ole Miss wins 49-14. So we're going to advance it, and we will be right back. All right, guys, just got done with the advance. Got a bye week this week, so nothing going on there. Um, and let's see how everybody else is doing. I only moved up three spots after beating the number one ranked team, which is bull crap, but whatever, man. They only dropped five spots, so it's kind of weird. Tulsa, it's got a bye week this week. Tennessee, bye week. Kentucky, bye week. Auburn, bye week. UCLA, bye week. Does anybody play this week? Texas Tech. So we got one person that plays this week. Hopefully he can get his game done. He plays number six, Texas. Maybe they can lose again. Um, UConn play Cincy and that's it. So nothing really going on there. Nobody really moved in the top 25 I don't understand why It's really weird man Let's see what happened in the top 25. So number one loses But they only drop a couple spots number four elite frogs UCLA to go to number two um, All miss Tennessee only move up one spot each um, I do leapfrog Connecticut though, so that helps me. <laughs> but he's got another game this week, and 
conference championship. So that's for sure. Penn State ended up losing. So they dropped from number 7 to 16. Man, that sucks. Um, I didn't play this game. That's just how it has to happen. Uh, Mississippi dropped from 19 to 25. Anybody else close? And no. Not yet. Check the media. UCLA is number three. I'm number five in the media, so that helps. What about the BCS? Yes, the important one right now. UCLA is three. Ole Miss five. And I'm eight. Tennessee is ten. Connecticut's eleven. Thirteen. Seventeen. Got a lot of people there. A lot of people there. So let's check out the conference standings real quick. Just to make sure that I do have this right. ACC. Nobody's in the ACC. American Connecticut has it locked up. They just had to play probably I think Louisville for the conference championship. No. No, they have it locked up. There is no conference championship. So I think they beat them and that that's all that matters because they got the Therab on top. They're number one. So I don't know. Uh, Big 12. Uh, Texas Tech has to beat Texas. I don't know if it'll matter in conference. Texas probably still has it locked up for the conference championship. Big 10. Ohio State and Penn State. Penn State did beat Ohio State once this year, so they'll have to play again. The conference championship, Conference USA. It's going to be ECU and Tulsa, no doubt about that. At least I don't think. Unless for some reason Tulsa loses to Louisiana Tech, which they don't have a game this week, so they should have that locked up. Nobody's in the MAC. Mountain West. Nobody's in the Mountain West. San Diego State still undefeated. Pac-12, UCLA playing for the conference championship. SEC. It is Ole Miss and Tennessee. Dang it. I lost to Tennessee. That's the tiebreaker. So that's why they get a play. They beat me. And I've lost two in conference. They've only lost one. So they got it locked up. So it's going to be Tennessee versus Ole Miss. More than likely. This is looking very possible for the conference championship. That's going to be that's going to be nice. That's going to be nice. So that's, that's pretty much it. We only have a couple of games this week. Um nothing really other than that we got two games so hopefully they can get their games done we can get it advanced and get into the conference championship and then get into the bowl season or bowl week but that's gonna be it for this episode i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see y'all next time